Hey, this is a screencast series called Vim on Alphabet. My name is Josh Branshaw, and this is episode 20 in the series. In this episode, we'll be looking at the backslash character. First, we can use backslash to do mode switching. No matter what mode you're in, you can get yourself back into normal mode by hitting Control backslash Control N. I find this handy for the time when I accidentally hit Q colon instead of colon Q and end up in this command line mode window. Instead of floundering around, I can hit Control backslash Control N and then I'm back in normal mode. Here's another binding that deals with insert mode. If the insert mode option is on, then hitting this will ensure we are in insert mode. Otherwise, it'll ensure we are put in normal mode. You can see that for me, the insert mode option is not on. So if I'm in insert mode, then I can hit control backslash control G and I'm back in normal mode. Now we can look at all the ways that backslash is used in pattern matching to escape and unescape the special behavior of different characters and patterns. Let's review some of the things we've seen in earlier episodes. We can escape a regular character to get a special meaning, like with backslash T, which matches a tab. We can unescape a character with a special meaning in order to match the character literally, as with the star character. We use backslash to reference collections. For instance, backslash W is a character class representing word characters, and backslash brackets can be used to define custom character classes. We use backslashes with parens to define capture groups, and we can reference capture groups with backslash and the group's numerical position. With all of this in mind, let's look at the concept of magic, which has an effect on whether or not we need to escape certain characters when doing pattern matching. We have four different modifiers we can add to our patterns that alter the magicalness of the remaining part of the pattern. First, we have backslash m, which means that everything after should be treated as if magic is on. Magic defaults to on, so this is likely what your Vim session is already doing. Second, we have backslash capital M, which means that everything after should be treated as if magic is off. This basically flips the already confusing set of special cases on its head. Third, we have backslash V. This stands for very magic. It means all ASCII characters, except word characters, are assumed to have their special meaning rather than the literal one. And last, we have backslash capital V. This stands for very no magic, which means almost nothing is assumed to have a special meaning and is instead treated as literal unless it is escaped. With that overview, let's look at how each of these works with this string of tildes here. Let's say I'm trying to find tilde. Okay, I've found that. But really, I want to find five instances of it. There we go. Now I can add in a space and find another tilde, and then add a star character to match on as many as I can find in a row. And now I want to match this all against the end of the line, so I add in a dollar sign. And there's the match. What we see here is the standard mismatch of escaping that is required in Vim flavored regex. If you're working on a pattern and you're unhappy with the escaping you're having to do, on a case by case basis, you can include one of these modifiers to change that behavior. I can jump to the front of this pattern and add backslash m. Because we already have magic on, this is going to make no change. We still have a match. Now I can switch that over to the no magic modifier and now my match is gone. To get my match back, I have to figure out what does and doesn't need to be escaped with no magic. I had to reference the help files for that. So to get this to work, I no longer need to be escaping the tildes, but I do need to escape this star. And now I have my match back. For no magic, the dollar sign does not need to be escaped to retain its special meaning. Now we can switch to very magic mode, and again my match is broken. Since all of the non-word characters are now treated as having their special meaning, I need to escape the tildes to match them literally. I can unescape this curly bracket modifier, and I can unescape this star, and now I have my match. Last, we can use capital V for very no magic mode. Again, the way we can think about this is that almost nothing has a special meaning, so nearly everything needs to be escaped to get a special meaning. 
so I can unescape the tildes again. The curly bracket modifier needs to go back, and then I need to escape both star and dollar sign, and the match is back. Those two middle modifiers, backslash capital M and backslash V, just mean more rules to remember when writing patterns. For my part, I prefer to stick with the standard magic mode of Vim regex. I can also see a case for switching to very no magic when matching against a document that has a ton of special characters you want to match literally. That's it for this episode. You should definitely check out the help files to learn more about Vim magic and other uses of the backslash character. In the next episode, we'll be looking at the bar character.